Don't worry about that. <laughs> First car you got a speed ticket in? First car you got a speed ticket in? First car I got a speeding ticket in was a 2001 Audi A4 Quattro 2.7. Nice. Uh, it was right in front of Yonkers Road. I was going 120 and climbing. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, the cop cut me a break and gave me like uh, 80 and a 60, but <laughs> it definitely should have been like 122. Yeah. Pedro. Fun car though. Dude. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, first car that I ever got a speeding ticket in is a 2004 Honda Accord Coupe. This thing wasn't fast, this thing wasn't spectacular, um, but I like to get places, and I like to get places quick. <laughs> I was over in Garner on Timber Drive, but like, new Timber Drive, if that makes sense. So like, the new section that they had connected, you know, from yeah. there where the McDonald's is all the way over to White Oak. And I'm going, and I'm just cruising, trying to get the dentist office over there. And uh, all of a sudden, there are lights right behind me, and uh, it was a 67 and a 45. So you menace to society. That one, that one was a little fun on the bank account. I gotta <laughs> say that. Yeah. What's the first car you got a speeding ticket in? Do you remember? I do. Um, it was actually a week after I moved to North Carolina. It was my AP1 Honda S2000. Embarrassing for a BMW guy, but I did <laughs> have one of those little cars, and uh, yeah, 88 and a 50. Jeez, you guys are menaces to society. We are. Literally. We, we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. John, what's the first car you got a speed ticket in? 88 Mustang 5 That's awesome. <laughs> Sean, Yay. found you, found you. First car you got a speed ticket in? Was it boosted? No. Okay. <laughs> First car you ever got a speeding ticket in? A E36 M3. Tell yeah. us about it. Um, so in New York City, that's where I'm from, it's a uh, speed limit on the highway, unfortunately, is 55. And I was going 74 on my way home from college. And uh, yeah, I, I got a huge speeding ticket for it. It sucked. It was the first fast car I had, even though it's just S52. But yeah. Should have had that PBA car, bro. No, for real. <laughs> that is very true. I didn't have one. That thing literally is a get out of jail free car for speeding tickets. Literally, a cop sees it. He's like, all right, have a good, have a great day. Shout out to my New York, New Jersey people. <laughs> for real. Uh, Mr. Dan, uh, what was the first car you got a speeding ticket in? Ooh, it was my 03 ZHP sedan. I got my first speeding ticket and my second speeding ticket a week later. Oh wow. Yeah, not good. Not good. Parents were not stoked about that one, but <laughs> here we are. But I haven't had one since, so it's all good. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Hey guys, it's Dan at Atlas. Here with a brand new arrival, fresh off the truck as we're driving it right now. It's a 2019 330i. Two liter, inline four, turbocharged of course. But this one's real cool. It is Portimao Blue over Cognac. 62,000 miles M Sport package, like, if you're looking for a daily driver, this is kind of it. For a daily driver, you can drive every single day. It's got all-wheel drive or Formatic. M Sport package looks super sweet. Port them out blue. Jay, you can attest how gorgeous this color is. I'm not gonna lie. We got some good sunlight today. I mean, just look at it. I mean, just, just look, look at, at it. it. Just look at it. Just look. Would you just look at it? But no, it's, dude, it's nice. It's cognac interior too. These seats are super bolstery. The M Sport seats are awesome in these cars. Um, yeah. I can see myself driving this every single day. I don't even love new cars, but I like this. This is sweet. Plenty of get up and go for just a little two liter. Better than the Camry. Yeah. yeah, better than the Camry. Nice and comfy on these streets too. Yeah, downtown Raleigh. Yeah, these roads are terrible right now. Yeah, these are awful. But yeah. But hey, it's killing it. Hey, look at the gimbal work. Look at the that's, gimbal. That's, that's to tell you. If the gimbal is all like that, yeah, we got some problems, but uh, you know, we, we pretty stable. I 
probably just knocked it off right there. <laughs> yeah, I just jacked it up. If y'all are interested in this or anything like it, we can find you whatever you want. But if you're interested in this one, go to atlasmotors.com or head to our social media. Contact us through there. We are always looking for people to sell cars to. We're always looking for enthusiasts who want cool cars. That's really what we're looking for. So this one is definitely an enthusiast spec for sure. It's happening, Jay. It it's happening. Uh, yeah, so Sean is making some awesome progress here on the uh, S54 swap and the ZHP. I went out to lunch with my wife yesterday. I leave, the M54 is in, I get back, S54 is getting dropped in, man. This, this man moves quick, so he's doing it right up here. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of prep work went in, this is a team effort. Uh, we got the uh, rod bearings done, the Vanos done with the full Bison rebuild. And then uh, Sean is the guy making it all happen here. We got a, a set of European headers getting dropped in here. So they don't have the catalytic converter built into the manifolds like the standard S54 ones we got. Um, but we have a section one with Eurocats in it. So it's a pretty sweet setup. It's, it's very similar to what Dan did in his wagon. I, I, was, I was feeling a little bit froggy this week and I went ahead and ordered a carbon air box. So that uh, should be shipped out next week. So. Yeah, man. Got to hear that induction noise on this thing. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's in. It fits. That's what she said. It's a hint. Thanks again for checking out one of our videos. Here at Atlas Motor Company, our BMW inventory gets refreshed every single week. We're gonna have fresh new content for you on a weekly basis. If you like what you guys saw, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you get alerts, and we'll see you next time.